Man, I really suck at choosing locations. When I start to film, when I put up my gear, there's somebody just, you know, making some big noise. And now it's some kind of workman draining the sewage or something. So, well, hope you can stand it. Not noises are a part of this when you're doing vlogs. So there's nothing I can do about it. Is it stopping? Is it stopping? I hope it's stopping. I hope it's done for today. I hope it's moving on. Guess not, because the truck's still there. So yeah, I got an e-bike. But this video isn't about that e-bike, even though I showed it on the intro, even though I've been running it around. This is a totally new bike that I got. I've been really happy with it. It just makes things easier when you're moving around and just, you know, when you're doing vlogs and stuff, because I hate taking the car with me. Every time when I'm going somewhere, I hate taking the car. But now I got a bike and I can go places that I can go with a car. So <laughs> it is, it is a perfect ride. But like I said, this isn't about the bike. I'm just gonna say that this is the Engui, I think it's pronounced Engui EP2 Pro. So it's a cheap bike right now, like 950 bucks or something. It's the cheapest on the market that I found. And it is a hell of a bike and it is easy to use. So highly suggest it if you're thinking about e-bikes. Now, like the title says, I've gotten into new old things. Now, riding a bike is a new old thing because, well, everybody's pretty much ridden a bike. Now, the second thing that is new and old is film photography. Today, I got with me the Mamiya RB67 right here, a medium format camera. And I was thinking about using the film up that's inside here. I got some for Portra 400. So take a few shots around here, let you see what kind of shots I'm taking with it. But there is a third thing and I'm gonna come up to that just in a minute while I'm taking these photos, so let's go. Now actually after I developed that film, I really didn't want to post this video because those photos came out somewhat undeveloped, looked smudgy, and they weren't anything that I expected them to be. And as you can see in one of these photos, I accidentally dropped that film onto the floor while I was putting it up to dry, and it just took every kind of, you know, dirt speck and cat hair that it could find from the floor, and it looked awful. But in the end, the reason why I decided to post this video was because in film and film development, there is going to happen mistakes, accidents, and they're just a part of it. So why not show that? And that leads to the third thing, and that's film development. Right here, I got my dark bag. I got my things in here, and I'm actually rolling my film right now to the, was it Patterson? Patterson tank and gonna develop my film. Now when you're developing film at home, it roughly takes about 20 minutes, excluding the drying time. That is two to five hours and that's long, but otherwise it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. Now when it comes to film photography, I'm a simple kind of guy. I don't need my photos to look pristine and sharp as hell. I just want them to be clean enough that I can print like a postcard or post them in social media. So that's why I use the Lomography, Lomography or Lomography, Lomogra, Lomogra, Lomo. I'm just gonna call it Lomo. And that's why I use the Lomo Digitalizer Max. It's an easy contraption. You just build it up. You got the light there. You got like these mounts where you can put your film and roll the film through that contraption and take photos of those negatives and then you just edit them on your phone or on the computer. This is also a good contraption when you're using your camera. And I use my camera sometimes. I do not have a macro lens. It is highly suggested that you do have a macro lens, but I have a 40 megapixel camera, so I just crop it in. And I don't really suggest that, but you can do it that way too, actually. But get a macro lens if you're gonna use your camera. Now, why did I decide to develop my own film? Well, actually, it's because of the costs. A film costs about 12 to 20 euros or bucks. And when you're taking it to development, the local entrepreneur, the, the store, the local photography kind of place that develops films takes 20 bucks a roll. So it's gonna pay itself back pretty soon when you're doing it by yourself. And you learn a lot. And the feeling that you get in the end when you've just developed that film, taken the photos of that film, edited that film, 
it just feels unbelievable. It feels like it's actually your photo, your film, because you've done it from the beginning to the end. Now that I'm able to do this, I hope you're going to see more film style. Tell me if you wanna see more film style photography or maybe developing film. You're probably even gonna see more of my e-bike. So stick around. Hope you liked the video. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, all the usual stuff. And well, I'll be seeing you in the next one. I'm gonna go take a ride. <laughs>